Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. A typical pregnancy lasts 40 weeks from the first day of your last menstrual period to the birth of the baby. It is divided into three stages called trimesters. First trimester, second trimester and the third trimester. The fetus undergoes many changes throughout the maturation. 1 to 12 weeks of pregnancy marks the first trimester. The second trimester is weeks 13 to 27 and the third trimester starts about 28 weeks and lasts until birth. In this video, let's see about the pregnancy symptoms and the baby size week by week during the first trimester. And we will know more about second and third trimesters in the upcoming videos. During the first trimester, pregnancy symptoms can vary week by week. For the first three weeks, you may have no idea that you are actually pregnant. If you have just found out that you are expecting, you might think this is your first week of pregnancy, but probably you are around four weeks pregnant. So we can directly start our video with week four. At four weeks pregnant, baby is smaller than a poppy seed, practically microscopic. Baby is now known as a blastocyst, a tiny ball of cells and is busy settling in the uterus. Symptoms of 4 weeks pregnant The same pregnancy hormones that gave you that positive pregnancy test can also cause some of the more typical 4 week pregnancy symptoms. These hormone levels increase pretty quickly. Also, it's normal to be 4 weeks pregnant with no symptoms. Here is a bit of what to expect at 4 weeks pregnant. Bloating you may be a little puffed up. Mild cramping. At 4 weeks pregnant, cramping might worry you, but it actually may be a sign that the baby has properly implanted in the lining of your uterus. Spotting. Little bleeding can also occur during week 4 as a result of implantation. Don't worry, this is totally normal. Mood swings. Your mood swings are mostly because of your fluctuating hormones. Pregnancy mood swings are most drastic during the first 12 weeks. Morning sickness. Experts say that about 50 to 90 percent of pregnant women get some form of morning sickness, that is nausea and sometimes vomiting too. Morning sickness is usually at its worst around 9 weeks and then slowly gets better, typically disappearing completely in the second trimester. Fatigue. One of the most common 4 week pregnant symptoms is fatigue, as your body is working hard to grow the tiny ball of cells into an embryo. Sore breasts. Your breasts feel swollen and tender. On a 4 weeks pregnant ultrasound, it just looks like a tiny dot called the gestational sac. Generally, you won't have an ultrasound at 4 weeks. At 4 weeks pregnant, your little blastocyst does not have a heartbeat yet. The blood vessel has begun to form, which will become the heart and the circulatory system in the next several weeks. The heart will continue to develop until the 10th week, but will begin to beat in the 5th or 6th week. At 5 weeks pregnant, baby is at the size of an apple seed. Your embryo is now measurable. In fact, in the next week, it will be almost double in size. Symptoms of 5 weeks pregnant The pregnancy symptoms you feel at 5 weeks are just the beginning of the slew of the changes your body is about to go through. Here's what the most common symptoms. Sore breasts Aching breasts may actually be the most common symptom at 5 weeks pregnant. Morning sickness Fatigue Frequent urination. You might notice yourself having the urge to pee more often early in the pregnancy. This symptom at 5 weeks pregnant is in part because your kidneys are actually expanding. Cramps. Around 4 or 5 weeks, cramping could be a sign that the embryo has implanted nicely into the lining of your uterus. Or it could be a sign that your uterus is expanding and stretching your ligaments. Spotting. When you are 5 weeks pregnant, spotting can seem scary, but a little bit blood can also be a sign of implantation. A heartbeat may be detectable between 5 and a half weeks and 6 weeks. 
but not always. That's why, unless you have pre-existing conditions or fertility concerns, most doctors wait until at least 8 weeks for your first ultrasound. At 6 weeks pregnant, baby is the size of a sweet pea. The average embryo at week 6 is about 0.25 inches and will double in size again next week. The symptoms of week 6 are almost the same as week 5. Your 6 week old embryo is starting to look more like a baby. It now has an optic ventricle which will eventually become the eyes and the heart that has been divided into 4 chambers and will start to beat this week. There are little limb buds that will become the arms and legs. Facial features are beginning to form too. At 7 weeks pregnant, baby is in the size of a blueberry. Your embryo measures about 0.51 inches, having doubled in size since last week. Symptoms of 7 weeks pregnant As morning sickness, cramping, spotting, frequent urination and mood swings continues, and new symptoms like acne, extra salivation, and food cravings start. Acne Acne breakouts are due to the hormonal changes in your body. Extra saliva. The excess saliva is probably also hormonally triggered and could be related to nausea too. Food cravings. You may find yourself with the urge to eat specific or even weird foods or not wanting to go near the certain foods you used to think that were fine. You can see a 7 week embryo on an ultrasound and the sensors can often even detect a heartbeat at this point. If you do have a 7 week ultrasound, be aware that it's likely to be a transvaginal ultrasound using a van shaped prop inserted into your vagina. This type of ultrasound is more accurate early on and may detect a heartbeat at 7 weeks. During week 8 of your pregnancy, baby is as big as a raspberry and weighs about 0 0.04 ounces and measures about 0 0.63 inches. Baby grows about a millimeter each day. Symptoms of 8 weeks pregnant As sore breasts, fatigue, morning sickness, cramping and spotting continues, new symptoms like heightened sense of smell, constipation and weird dreams start. Along with morning sickness comes another fun symptom, an uncanny sense of smell. Catching a whiff of an offensive odor, perhaps something that's totally innocuous or never bothered you before, could trigger nausea. So it's better to try to avoid the smells you have been sensitive to. Constipation during pregnancy happens to about 50%. Having vivid and strange dreams are also totally normal throughout the pregnancy. You might have your first prenatal checkup around this time, that is, an 8 week pregnancy appointment. You might be surprised to see the baby's arms and legs moving around like crazy in there. You cannot feel it, but it's really happening. At week 8 of pregnancy, baby's fingers and toes are now only slightly webbed and the tail is gone. At your first prenatal appointment, you will likely to have your blood drawn so your doctors can run tests. Your doctor will check your blood type and whether it's RH positive or negative. Because if you are negative and the baby is positive, you will need medications to prevent complications. Your hormone levels and the red and white blood cell levels will also be checked to be sure they are normal. Your blood will also be screened for hepatitis B, STDs, HIV and certain immunities. You might also get a pap smear to check for infections and abnormalities. You will have to give an urine sample to check for the signs of an UTI and keep an eye on protein in your urine if you are at risk of developing preeclampsia. Baby is in the size of a cherry at 9 weeks pregnant. Your 9 week fetus measures around 0 0.9 inches and weighs about 0 0.07 ounces.
and a little nubin of a nose. This is the final week of baby's embryo status. And with that comes a head that is a bit more rounder and straightened up. Baby's arms are now bent at the elbows. Symptoms of a 9 week pregnant. The symptoms are same as the previous weeks. At 9 weeks pregnant, ultrasounds are typically done transvaginally. That means the doctor or the ultrasound technician will have to insert a probe into your vagina since your uterus still sits behind your pelvic bone. The probe will emit sound waves which will allow you to see the image of your 9 week fetus on the screen. The 9 week pregnant ultrasound will also confirm that the pregnancy is uterine which means there is no sign of ectopic or tubal pregnancy at 9 weeks. The doctor may point out the gestational sac, the yolk sac and the fetal pole. During week 10 of the pregnancy, baby is as big as a strawberry, measuring about 1.2 inches long and weighing around 0.14 ounce. Your 10 week fetus body length will almost double in the next 3 weeks. Symptoms of 10 weeks pregnant As fatigue, growing breasts, morning sickness and mood swings continues, new symptoms like round ligament pain, increased vaginal discharge and visible veins appear. The pain in your abdomen is due to the stretch to accommodate your growing baby. Increased vaginal discharge An increased blood flow to your vagina coupled with an increase in the estrogen production could cause more of a clear, orderless discharge called leucorrhea. This substance is simply a natural way of getting rid of the bacteria. Visible veins Those blue streaks are an important reminder. They are a sign of all the extra blood circulating in your body for your growing baby. You may also see a spider veins begin to appear because of the extra blood in your veins. Week 10 of pregnancy is a milestone. Baby is no longer an embryo. They are now a fetus. These two terms simply define different phases of development. The embryonic phase is about forming the major organs including the brain, heart and lungs plus the arms and legs. Once you have got a fetus, those organs and parts are formed and are now growing and developing. At 10 weeks pregnant, baby has working arm joints and cartilage and bones are forming. Fingernails and hair are starting to appear too. 10 weeks is an important time if you have decided to have some first trimester genetic testing. The NT scan typically happens between weeks 10 and 14. It tests your fetus for the risk of Down syndrome and several other chromosomal abnormalities. A cell-free fetal DNA test, also known as a non-invasive prenatal test, is a blood test drawn at week 10 or later. It screens mom's blood for signs of risk for Down syndrome, Edward syndrome, Patau syndrome and other chromosomal abnormalities. The CVS performed between weeks 10 and 13 uses an ultrasound to determine the placenta's location. Baby is now as big as a lime. Your 11 week fetus is about 1.6 inches long and weighs in about 0.25 ounce. They have got about 1 is to 1 head to body ratio and it may sound weird but they will change later. Symptoms of 11 weeks pregnant As fatigue, nausea, gas and mood swings continues, new symptoms like leg cramps, skin darkening and vaginal discharge starts. Leg cramps Tight and painful muscles can strike at night and interfere with your sleep. Drinking plenty of water can prevent leg cramps. Skin darkening The dark line down the center of your belly is called linea nigra. Well, this is a totally normal pregnancy symptom. This dark line is caused by the hormonal changes and isn't usually permanent. Vaginal discharge An increase in discharge can be expected throughout your pregnancy. This 11 weeks pregnant symptom is your body's way of eliminating the secretions. At 12 weeks pregnant, 
baby is as big as a plum. The average 12 week fetus is about 2.1 inches long and 0.49 ounce. Symptoms of 12 weeks pregnant. The symptoms are similar to the previous weeks. At 12 weeks, your pregnant belly is probably getting noticeable now. Your 12 week fetus is almost done developing their body's important systems and parts, which means it's all about getting bigger and more mature from here on. Baby is about to enter the growth and maturation state in which the organs and tissues will grow and develop rapidly. Baby at 12 weeks opens and closes their fingers and curls their toes and their brain develops fast. You may have one more prenatal checkup before the end of your first trimester. If you do get an ultrasound at this time, you will notice that you can see your 12 week fetus more clearly. At 13 weeks, Body is as big as a lemon. Your 13 week fetus is about 2.9 inches long and weighs around 0.81 ounces. And the proportion wise, their head is now about one third the size of the body instead of half. Symptoms of 13 weeks pregnant Visible veins You can see all those blue streaks and spider veins under your skin because of your increased blood flow. Increase in energy. The second trimester is known as the least symptomatic and the most energetic. A 13 week ultrasound could detect the baby's gender. If you have chosen to have a prenatal cell free DNA testing, also known as non invasive prenatal testing, to screen for the chromosomal abnormalities, you will be able to find out the gender when you get your results. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys like this video and please do like, share and subscribe.